It's like a three for one. I just spit so much. Did you see that? Okay, we're good. Friday, everybody. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. I'm Orly Shani. If you are new to the channel, welcome. So glad that you're here. Uh, if you're new and you like what you see, I hope that you'll subscribe. We do so many fun projects on this show. I'm having such a blast and I love it. And I hope you will join for the ride. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, for those of you that have been with me for a bit, thanks so much. Love you long time. And we have a great video today. So this is actually something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I want to make a chain mail outfit. You know the chain mail dresses and tops and all of the all of the things. I love them so much and I wanted to make them. Um, now let's talk a little bit about the history of chain mail. Chain mail was first seen in the third century BC. It was used. At... I'm just kidding. No, no, no. We're not going to do all that. Farrah Fawcett wore it in the 70s to the Oscars, and I've always been obsessed with this dress. So glamorous, so disco. Then in like the late 90s, there was that Kate Moss, Naomi Campbell moment in the Versace. So gorgeous. Then freaking Paris took her crack at it, and that was in probably the mid 2000s. And now it is back in just like a way more upscale glamorous legit way all of these styles you can see me in the cover of magazines really beautiful gowns simple tops it's not sort of the triangle top of the past this triangle top is really what I feel like was when I was a kid was the style that was worn it was a little bit cheesy it was literally a triangle draped in the front totally open in the back with like the straps and stuff I just feel like that's outdated and I'm kind of over it so I want to create a couple of tops we're gonna to do tops like this, straight across with the chainmail strap, so it's all made out of the same thing. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a cropped and a regular version of it. And I am also gonna make a third top, which is gonna be at the end, so make sure that you stay tuned. And the top that I'm gonna do is gonna be one single piece. So one piece, no seams, no sewing, you just have to attach your straps, and it's gonna overlap in the back so you can wear a bra. Because either you have big tatas, bravo, lucky you, and you need a bra, or, like me, you have zero of the tatas because your damn children suck the life out of you. I love them. I'm so happy that I have them, um, but I just also have no boobs. So I like to wear a bra. So I'm gonna create a top that you can wear with a bra, no sewing, one piece, it's badass, let's do materials. that it's gonna go. You're gonna put the center front and this is all one piece. So see that? That's gonna go across the back. You can see everything is just safety pinned right now. But the reason that this is great is that this dress form's a little too big on me so I don't have as much overlap on the dress form as I actually have on myself. But what's gonna happen is if you imagine this being a little bit more narrow, this will overlap so I won't need um, a seam in any way. I can get in and out of it perfectly and in the back it's gonna overlap on itself so I can still wear a bra. So this is what we're making. So in order to get your measurement, you wanna take your measuring tape, you can go around the back because the measurement will be the same, and you wanna figure out your overlap. About like that much overlap, you see that? So that means this side will overlap here and this side will overlap here, about that much. And I would say it's about six inches. So take your measurement and basically add six so that you can feel the overlap. So for me, that's 39. So my top is gonna be one single piece that's 39 inches long. Now you decide on your length. If you want this to be a crop top, you know, seven or eight inches is totally fine. I want this to be something that I could wear with like jeans out to a restaurant and not something that's like a total belly shirt. So I'm gonna make mine 13. So my measurements are 39 inches long by 13 inches, well, yeah, 39 inches long by 13 inches tall. So you wanna take your chainmail fabric and measure 39 inches long. Once you have the little placement, just cut straight down the line so it's perfectly even. So this extra piece that I have, this is a great piece if you do wanna do that triangle top. Now you wanna cut your straps. I cut my first strap, just eyeballed what looked right to me, and then I counted to make sure that my second strap was gonna be an identical match. Just cut two long straps, 
And now take your shirt and fold it in half. The fold is our center front. So I knew that I wanted my straps to be about six inches wide, like six inches apart from each other. So I measured three inches from one side and added a safety pin. Then I flipped it over, measured three inches from the center on the other side and added another safety pin. So for now, just leave them safety pinned. Now this is when we're gonna actually create the overlap. If you have a dress form, this is what you'll do. This piece, which is coming from the right side of my garment, is it looks like it's coming straight down, but it's coming straight down and attaching to the opposite side. So it's actually making what looks like it's a crisscross, but it's not because when it overlaps, the straps are gonna go straight. That's how you actually create the overlap is by taking this side and connecting it to this side and it will pull it. Now we do the same thing over here. So now I take this one and that's basically the way that the shirt lay. That's basically the shirt. At this point now we would just glue the straps on. Uh, you could get in there and reinforce it with a needle and thread, but I made a dress of this stuff a really long time ago and I used glue and it is completely held together. <laughs> Tried it on. So it overlaps. You can see it overlaps and you're not able to see my bra. The only adjustment I need to do is to shorten the straps just so I don't want when this sort of drape happens that you can see the bra on the side. So it's time to glue. Obviously everything is still just safety pinned in place. So what you want to do is remove your safety pin, but mark your location. So you can see I have a little push pin there. It's holding my spot so that I know exactly where to glue it. Now this is the glue that I absolutely recommend using. It's called Power Tack. You could also use Quick Grip. These are both really strong, super long lasting glues by Beacon. They're sort of like an E6000 alternative, but I've learned about some chemicals that are in E6000 that I no longer will use. So this is my go-to and it's absolutely incredible power tack or quick grip. You're going to love it. So peel back your top of your blouse and add the power tack directly to the strap. Then just lay your fabric on top and kind of tap it with your fingers. You're going to move on to the next center front strap and do the same thing. Just pull out the pin, make sure you mark your location, add your glue, and then gently lay it down and just tap with your finger. This is sort of a step and repeat process. The most important part is really making sure that you hold your location. While the black one's drying, I'm gonna move on to the gold and you can see here it's the same thing. I remove my safety pin, I mark my location with a pin, then I peel back my fabric, add my power tack, and then drop my straps back onto it. I wanna make a skirt, but I'm not really gonna make a skirt make a skirt. I'm just gonna pin a skirt because I wanna be able to use this whole other piece for something else down the road. Like I'm thinking about actually making a floor length dress with it, um, using this as the front and getting a second piece for the back. So I don't really wanna cut it. So this is my thought. So I'm just gonna drape it and pin it um, and just wear it that way. So basically I'm gonna put it on and I'm actually gonna do it pretty high waisted. That way it's short. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna make one side kind of the right size and then I'm gonna pin it like that and let this side drape so it's asymmetric. So basically wrap it around your body and pin it until it feels like it's laying at the right place. And at that point you can use a safety pin for your waist and then a couple more pins just to make sure that it doesn't open. You're pinning it from the inside. I'm gonna flip up and pin through here. And because it's metal on metal, including the safety pin, you're not gonna see it. It's just gonna kinda hang just like that. And it's gonna come down and it's just gonna look like one sort of matching outfit, but then I could always save this piece for something else down the road. All right, I promised you a bonus top and I shall deliver a bonus top. So here's our piece. That is the excess we cut off because we only needed 39 inches um, to wrap around. So when you have it, uh, you can do this on your own body or do it on your dress form. You're going to do this right here. You're gonna follow that princess line. That's kind of where you would want it on your own body anyway. Now I cut two more straps. Again, just about like eight little pieces wide are the straps I chose to do. You make them as wide as you want. Pin this right here. Again, I'm just gonna use regular pins. Just go ahead and get a new pin, shall we? Okay, so now it's attached. Now you wanna crisscross it and you wanna grab on to the side. This is what's gonna hold it together so that it doesn't like fly open and like you know, tits out. Although, you know, maybe you want your tits out. I'm not judging. I'm just saying if you don't want your tits out. So then we pin right there. 
And you do the same thing, crisscross. So let's put this here. Okay. Now, like where you want it to, to give you a little bit more of a pull. Measure, that way you guarantee it straight. For right now, I'm just gonna pin them because I'm gonna take it off and adjust it anyway. But just so you know, that's a super important step. And now, you would go back in, you try it on, make sure everything fits you right. If everything fits you right, you're gonna glue it just like we glued the other shirt. And now, see this could function as like a really nice, you could either put a, um, you could tie it, just like that, or you could put a jump ring and a hook so that it actually is like almost like a necklace and it hooks in the back, in which case you would cut it here and here and that would get hooked in. Totally up to you how you wanna finish it, but now you've got a completely second bonus top that you can also pair with your skirt. It's like a three for one.